Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is not going to be very special painting technique, but it's the first time that I let do a little table. It's one for our guest room next to the bed. Very old. I taped it all around, uh, masking tape and all these kind of things. I washed it with alcohol. And I'm really, really curious how it's going to turn out. I'm going to show you the colors. So, there is a bit of bronze gold, very dark transparent blue, an opaque gray, blue and white, because that's the colors of the room too. So now I'm going to mix them together, do a dirty pour and see how it turns out. I'm first going to put some uh, dimethicone in it, because dimethicone is thicker, so I think it should make some better cells, but yeah, not too many, I don't want it to go crazy. So I put two drops in everything into the white, which is here on the table, I put a bit more. So let me stir it up. Okay, this is the rose gold, transparent blue. and the grey blue. I have a little bit a bigger cup uh, and I coated it with some bit of one drop of silicone oil that it makes it easier to get all the paint out. Okay. So Let's start with a bit of white. I hope it's not going to get too dark. Now I'm going to put half of the rose gold. I'm not going to mix it too crazy. I think I'm going to leave it really very separated. And now a lot of white again because I want to keep it fairly light I don't want it to turn out really really dark looks like this metallic rose gold is taking over completely but we will see I love this dark transparent blue I really love it okay rest of the grey blue. Let's see what this away. I washed the table with uh, obviously soap and heat water, hot water. After that I gave it a very light sanding and I also cleaned it with alcohol. So let's hope it's gonna stick because I didn't prime it or or anything like that. Okay, it looks pretty in the cup. That's the start. This is all Winter and Newton paint if you're interested. And this is done with only flow troll and water, so no other pouring medium. I normally make my own pouring medium a little different. Okay, shall we do it? Shall we do it? Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's for sure not as light as I thought, but it's not ugly. Ooh. It's gonna be cool in my guest room and people are gonna be super surprised. Ooh, look how pretty it is in the cup. Now I already see some cells. Do you also see the cells? A bit. Let me put you a bit closer. Like that. I'm going to torch it to get hopefully as many air bubbles out as possible. I always think that looks so ugly. Ooh, and more cells coming. Very cute. My torch is broken so I constantly need to refill it. Just a sec. 
Oh, there's some power again. This little ribbon there at the top is really cute. Lots of cells. Okay, I'm gonna move it. Oh, this is not as easy as I thought to move, actually. One side. Other side. Ugh, it's all slippery, of course. Ugh. And to that side. Covered. And... I did not put gloves. How smart is that? But okay. Mm. It goes more zicky zacky than I would like to, to be honest. So a little bit more paint would not have hurt. Let me put it back to. Okay. Just cleaning my hands a bit. Let's touch it again. Is it stuck? I need to fill it. I don't really like this big blob in the middle, but there's nothing I can do about it. And I think that's it. And now I will need to remove the tape pretty quickly because otherwise it's going to be stuck. Um, but for this I used pretty high quality tape so let's see. I left a little corner somewhere that I can find it back. Oh yeah, here. And again, I don't have gloves. Why not? Oh, that worked better than normal with the cheaper tape. Oh. 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 The plastic protection already coming off. Oh, slimy. I did not want that. I'm a bit worried that it's now gonna go against the rest of the table. So how does it look? It's cute. It's more colored than I wanted actually, but I think in the room it's going to be cool. Okay. I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Come back, leave a comment and thanks for watching.